Hey guys, this could be like a chill video, like story time, whatever. So I had like a random thing today, because, well, I didn't really know what to do for this month in terms of videos. I'm thinking of probably doing some NBA stuff, but like, I don't know how, where that's going to go. So I came to a random idea. How about like I just give some random advice about like writing? How about that? Because I was thinking of just reviewing my Roblox character that I made that's Thomas and Friends related, but then I realized it's an OC, so I have to explain OC stuff. So we're going down a rabbit hole. I have like 60 plus slides, but it's all going to be fun. You'll see. So these are the table of contents we're going over today. Like I have no script. I'm just going to read off here and like say whatever comes to my mind. If you have more questions, just put them in the comment section. I can probably explain more that way because there may be some holds. This is like 66 plus like slides, so it should be enough to begin with. So first chapter is like background and choice. So like what I was thinking here is like background, like what motivated me to do what I'm doing today and like choice, like how are you going to like choose, like how do you format a character? Chapter two, adding the sauce is like, like the formation, like for the building process. Chapter three, putting it together is like finalizing everything, like character design, all of that. Like just dr making an OC from scratch, all of that, like for a world. Uh, chapter 4, I'm going to go over some limitations, like what I didn't cover and what I may cover in the future. Chapter 5, overall cost. Like, this is going to be applying to the Robux stuff, the Roblox stuff I mentioned earlier. Because this one costs a bit more, because I kind of went overboard in some places, but you know how it is in Roblox. Prices are weird. Then chapter 6 is just your usual conclusion afterward. So yeah, let's just get into it. Yeah, as I said earlier, we're starting with chapter 1, background and choice. Uh, so, like, first I got this idea, because I already made the Gordon and Roblox. I thought this was this was really fun. Like, I know it didn't get a lot of views, but this was, like, one of the first times that, like, I made a character and started cosplaying on Roblox, because I usually don't do that. And, yeah, I did it because it's, like, easy to make. A lot of this was, like, stupid cheap. So, like, I decided to branch out OC territory, and that kind of brings us to the next part. So, it wasn't OC, because I know not everyone's into, like, original characters, like, writing and stuff like that, which is totally fine, but I kind of have to explain the lore here. So, like, there are two definitions. Minor character in existing canon whose role is being expanded by a fanfiction writer. So, this is actually how I started writing. Like, I did this for, like, Dragon Ball Z with, for some of the side characters. This is how I got my start. This is me now. A completely new character who exists in the reality of a published canon. That's why I went with Toms and Friends. I made a completely new character, basically. And this is so self-explanatory. I think you don't, you don't really need to. And there's a source link. I can link it down below if you need it. And yeah, this is like the choice. So like, this is how I go through like writing. Like, this is what I consider when you gotta write. So when it comes to applying it to a world, you gotta think of a few things. What is, like, messing with the status quo, like, with the world? Do you want to add a character who, like, directly, like, messes, like, changes the trajectory of a story altogether, making its own? Or do you want to improve the status quo? Just add a character, just makes the current status quo okay? Like, for example, this next character I'm doing kind of messes with the status quo because it goes into, like, beyond and takes drive. Well, example, I have another character that improves the status quo because it stays within the universe and just makes some things more deeper than they have to be. So, yeah, that's how it works. Yeah, some of my advice is, like, play to what makes you strong. Like, write characters that you actually like to write. Like, don't force yourself to do something. Like, focus on stuff you like. Like, do you like a redemption story? Do you like love? Like, focus on what you, at the start, like, focus on what you like so you can stay in. Later, if you want to try writing other things, you can. But for now, let's just start with that. And, like, these are some things I consider, like, basic character traits. Like, I know there's more. Like, there's, like, forms online you could probably search up. Like, there are very detailed forms. But these are, like, some stuff I go into. Like, nationality. Like, are they American? Are they Russian? You know. Personality. Like, what do they like to... Like, how are they? Are they bubbly? Are they edgy? Like, you gotta choose. You gotta choose. Age. Like, this is important because you gotta know what their role is in the universe. Are they, are they like, an established vet? Or are they trying to start in the world? You gotta think of that stuff. Then likes, dislikes. I feel like this is self-explanatory. All of us have something we really like. Some of the stuff that we dislike. That plays into personality a lot. You can go hand-in-hand. -hand. Like, weird quirks. Like, as you know, in, like, anime. Like, My Hero Academia. You know how in the manga... Yeah, I, I know. My Hero Academia fan 2024. Attack me, I know. Like, when you read the manga, you flip. And, like, he does, like, these things where they do information. They put, like, the side information, like, random stuff. Like, like it's kind of like that. Like, the, those reference things he does. Like that. And, like, yeah, this is how it applies to my OC I made. Like, this this were my answer. Like, she was American. She was sweet, but... She's sweet, but bold, but very immature. Like, she's a bit of a child. 
which plays into the lore, but even though she's, like, early 20s. But to be fair, in Thomas and friends, age doesn't really matter. Like, Thomas is, like, like, 100 plus years old, but everyone treats him like a freaking kid. Like, age is kind of, like, it depends on what you're writing, because sometimes age matters, but sometimes age doesn't matter. It's just there for the goofies, which is what Thomas and friends reduced it to, but yeah. And yeah, some of her likes is, like, lollipops, and some of her just, like, being ignored. And, like, funny side thing was avid pet collector. I'll, I'll veer lore and start. This is just my answer, so you guys can get a feel of how you should do it. But yeah, here's some, like, parts where I'm going to give you, like, wisdom for free. The most important thing is to establish the rules of the world. Like, how are you going to do this? Like, you need to, like, establish kill rules. Because, like, in this world, there are rules. So you got to follow them. Like, power scaling species. What comes to mind is Dragon Ball Z, for obvious reasons. Rip Toriyama. But, yeah. You got to consider a lot. It's hard. I'd recommend writing stuff down. If you don't got, like, a vast brain or something like that. But, yeah. I follow, like, a trained human philosophy. Like, on my... Tumblr and make the train. You can see that, like, some trains, they can shape shift into humans, you, they can shape shift into trains, so on and so forth. That's basically it. I know it makes no sense, but, you know, my world, my rules. That's the best thing about writing. Reality's whatever you want. You're, like, poochie from, poochie and away from, like, JoJo, so let's go. Uh, chapter two, adding the sauce. So, yeah, you got, so for, like, me, Tom's and friends, you got get a character. So first, I had to think of a time period. I chose, like, 1922-ish to fit in with James, because that's, like, when he was created and he came around, if you check on his. Like, it's 1911 to 1922, but I chose 1922. We're on the safe size. Specify a type of engine, good, express, etc. And keep in mind nationality, because you want to, like, go on the wiki, because I recommend Wikipedia, as I said. You And, yeah, you like the list system, because they have, like, a whole list. And use keywords, okay? Like, search up your exact... And, well, yeah, that's what I'd say, because, like, you gotta look, you gotta find exact region, exact area, see a general thing, and, like, play around to see what works. And I chose Sierra Railway 28. It was built in 1920, I mean, January 1922, in response to freight traffic, built in Philadelphia, used in California. So, yeah, that's, that fits all the questions. And, okay, this is the pain. This is the not-so-fun part, deciding a name. Easily the hardest part of the job. I hate this, man. Names are hard. Like, fam. You gotta consider so many things. Personality, lore, place of origin. And yes, I want everyone to know, when it comes to your writing, changing stuff is fine. I do it all the time. Yeah. But yeah, this is the hardest part, fam. Especially when you realize parents do this to their kids. Even though you don't even know what they're gonna turn out to be like. Like, you could name a kid, like, something very innocent, they turn out to be, like, a serial killer. Shoots very hard. I chose Luna, because of, like, her lore. She has a mysterious past, but also positive and sweet, too. And for me, it just works. You know how it is with, like, memes and stuff. It just works. If you don't get it, you don't get it. And that is okay. For you, if it just works, it just works. You can always change it later. And hey, I might change it later. Ask me in, like, a year. It might be something different. And yeah, this is the fun part. Chapter 3, putting it together. Let them cook. And yeah, use what you know. Like, consider a place of origin, people in the show, connected to origin. Consider creating new character for support, and consider precedent. Like, consider, like, the rule of the law of the land. Like, you, like think about it. Like, an American review things slightly differently if they were placed in another scenario compared to a native. People in the show connected to origin. Like, people connected to that person from that old land, like in America, that would affect their mentality. And yeah, consider creating new characters to show that they have a family or something, or people they used to know, or people they end up knowing who are connected to their old land. Like, give them a sense of familiarity. Yeah, consider precedent. Consider, like, the current people in the world. Yeah. Yeah, and I decided to, since she is from California, I chose to, like, put, make her, like, live in Hollywood. And since she's, like, a goods engine, I imagine she's, like, friends with Sam, which angers like, the other guys for some reason, which I think is funny. And yeah, one of her, like, siblings is the Sierra Railway 3, a movie star. And I found this out on Tumblr, so I was like, yo, let's do it. I named it Sierra based off, like, the Flying Scotsman, like, how they didn't give much name into that. So yeah, that was funny as heck. Yeah, this is my wisdom moment of the show. Write as much as you can, please, even if it's weird. And also, all OCs go through intense revision redesign, and so don't be discouraged. Yeah, what matters most is the effort. Share with peers to get feedback and new ideas. And don't be afraid of feedback, too. Some of my best work actually came from suggestions, lol. And it, and usually most, like, feedback isn't out of malice. They just legitimately want to help. Like, there's a few people, like, a few assholes out there, but usually everyone wants to help. Unfortunately, we got limitations for Chapter 4. I, I, I'm not going into dynamics with other characters still on the show. 
because this requires more explanation of lower personality and dynamics. If you need help, then I recommend watching YouTubers analyze shows, movies, etc. Like, just to ask, and I can help you in the comments. I don't want to give anything now, because who knows, when this video goes up, maybe those YouTubers get cancelled or something, fam. I don't want to deal with that. And yeah, watch videos of them praising shows. Also, one they diss them, so you know what to do and what not to do. I'd recommend Saber Spark, actually. That dude's pretty chill. He does both sides of the same coin. Oh yeah, this is what I said earlier. Shoot a comment. Hopefully Saber Spark isn't committing a crime by this comes up. So yeah, hopefully we're good. Now I'll be showing my design in Roblox. Yeah, this is based on like Luna's character design. We'll talk about the future and some advanced lore knowledge. So now we get chapter 5, or all costs. So this is everything I bought. The purchase steam engine conductor for 400. Purchase Sparkle Time, Sparkle Eyes for 250. Purchase Warfall Waves and Warm Blonde 80. This is like the most expensive so far. So yeah, this one this build's a bit more expensive than Gordon. I'll show you the comparison later. Orange suit for five. Purchase spooky to orange top hat suit pants for five. And purchase orange classic suit suit for fifty. Part of the reason why it's so expensive is if I chose to do buy normal clothing and later later clothing. I didn't really do that for Gordon. And also, this costs, like, way too much, so yeah. I'll have a Google Doc link. I'll talk about it later, but yeah, I'll have a link in the comments, too, for, like, if you want a full list, so you can just buy off the list. And, well, the thing is, I was able to be more creative with it, because I actually knew the character a bit deeper, so yeah. I purchased a Chrome Star Belt Charm for 50. Purchased Rhinestone Star Charm for 3.0 for 48. Purchased Great Parade Batons for 100. Purchased Cartoony Animation Package for 250. And yeah, I did the math. It's 2,000, I mean, 1,238 Robux, which is actually double what I made for Gordon, as you'll see later. As these are the Robux packages. Like, originally, I only did 800 Robux for, for Gordon, making it substantially larger. Yeah, it costs basically $20 IRL, $10 more than the Gordon build. Yeah, these, this just can be screenshots of, like, everything you can see on my page as proof. Just pause if you need to, anyway. Yeah, chapter 6, conclusion afterward. Yeah, it takes a lot of work to make one character, let alone multiple. And yeah, as you saw in my Google Docs, it costs a lot for my Luna build in Roblox. And yeah, afterward. It was hard to decide the videos for May. Hope you enjoyed the rest. Thank you and goodbye and peace. Yeah, now leave unless you want to see Roblox ending credits. Also, I didn't use APA citations. Lol. LMAO. So this is like all the links, sources. If you want any sources, tell me down below. I can get them to you. And yeah, that's it. Bye.